Hi there, this is Lynn Allen with another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I don't know about you, but I ordered the sun in the summertime and it's cold and rainy outside. <laughs> so I'm going to offer up this tip on this Tuesday to uh, hopefully warm you up wherever you are, unless you're one of the lucky ones and you have the sun. So two tips ago, I did a tip on Autolisp. And I said, if you want me to do any more, send me an email. And I got deluged by emails. Oh my goodness, I got so many emails. So wish granted, I'm going to continue on and I'm going to continue to walk you down the road of CAD Gurudom. Okay? All right. So now if you're just tuning in now, you're going to have to, you're going to have to stop right now. Don't finish this video. Go back to two videos ago so you can get, start from the very beginning of this. All right? So otherwise you're going to be lost. But for the rest of you, come along. Let's get going. Now you might recall that we wrote two Autolisp routines last time, right? We did one for Zoom Previous. We did a ZP for Zoom Previous, right? Which I can type in right at the command line. That did a Zoom Previous. And I want you to see at the command line the nil, the dreaded nils. We're going to show you how to get rid of the dreaded nils. The nils don't cause any harm, but they're not pretty, are they? We want our routines to be pretty. We also did EL for erase last, right? It erased the last object on the screen. And once again, we have a nil, and we need to fix that. So let me start off by showing you how to get rid of the dreaded nils, all right? So let's go back into our Lisp editor. Now, you might remember I grabbed the Lisp editor from the Manage tab on the ribbon, the Visual Lisp Editor, okay? And the name of our Lisp file was catalyst.lsp. All Lisp files have an extension of LSP, all right? And here's our two routines, and we want to get rid of the nils. How do we do it? It's easy, all right? Open paren, Prince, P-R-I-N-C, close paren, Prince. The Prince is going to save the day. Just think of it like that. It's going to get rid of the dreaded nils. Open paren, Prince. I have to do it for each of my routines because each routine has a nil at the end, and that's all you have to do. Open paren, Prince, close paren. All right, that sounds pretty easy. Let's try it. Let's do a file, and let's do a save. Go back out to AutoCAD, and we need to load the application, right? So I'm going to go ahead and grab Catalyst. Dot LSP. There it is. Let's load it. So far, so good. Down here it says that that list routine was successfully loaded. And what it does is it actually goes through and checks it to make sure that you have the right number of open and closed parens, you have the right number of open and closed quotes, and uh, that all the functions are spelled properly anyway, that they're valid functions. All right, so so far, so good. There still could be, it still could be totally wrong, but so far, so good. Let's try them out. Of course, ours is going to be perfect. All right, let me zoom back in. So we have a zoom previous to go to. Let's zoom in. And I'm going to say ZP. Now watch the command line. Ah, oh, no nils. Yay, we've triumphed. Let's do EL for erase last. No nils. <laughs> no title block. <laughs> Apparently that was the next thing to go, right? That was the last thing that I drew. All right, so let's oops that back. We kind of need our title block. And now we're ready to go to something else new. So we learned how to get rid of the nils. Let's also learn how to tell Autolisp that we want it to pause for user input. For example, I want to write a routine that allows me to very quickly draw a two-point circle. So it's going to go in the circle command. I'm going to spell the whole word out. As if you remember last time I told you we want to spell the whole command out in Autolisp. And 2P, right? 2P for a two-point circle. And then it asks me for the first endpoint of the circle's diameter. I want to be able to pick on the screen. I want it to pause for user input. Second point, pause for user input again because I don't know where they want to draw that two-point circle or where you want to draw that two-point circle. All right, so let, let me show you how to do that in Autolisp. All right, we're going to write a routine, and we're going to name it 2P. All right, let's go right back into Autolisp, our visual Lisp editor. We're going to do a new routine. Open paren, defund, C colon, let's call it, uh, we'll call it 2P, why not? Open, close paren, right? And why do you have the open and close paren? Do you remember? Because I said so. <laughs> it's too complicated. So, command. What command do we want to execute? Circle. Remember, we spell out the whole command. We don't use the alias in case somebody messes, messes with the aliases, and then it won't work. So, circle. What kind of circle? I want to do a two-point circle. Remember, anything that you would key in at the command prompt in AutoCAD, you're going to put in double quotes. All right, now I want it to pause for user input. I want it, my user to get to pick the two points. Super easy. Guess what? Pause. Ah, it's easy. Don't put quotes around it because it's an auto, Autolisp recognizes this. Pause. Ah. Easy, 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 right? Okay, and then I'm done with the command, right? Oh, but I need to do what? Get rid of the nils, prints. And then my final right paren. So I created a function called 2P. It's going to draw a two-point circle, and the user's going to get to pick the two points. So we've added that new, new uh, function to our repertoire, pause. All right, save it, right? File, 
save. Let's go back into AutoCAD. What do we have to do? We have to load it, load the application. Come all the way down. It doesn't have a default. Does it remember what we did last time? Load. Once again, so far so good. That's a good start. And now let's see what happens if I type in 2P. Executes a circle command. I just have to pick any two points on the screen. So wherever you have a command where you're always selecting a specific option, you can write a list routine that, that uses that option, saving you an extra step in your life, right? We all can appreciate that. All right, so pause. That's new. Print. Get rid of the nils. All right, next go around. If you want me to do some more, send me more emails, and then I'll do a little bit more auto lisp. All right, so thank you once again for joining me, and I am going to see you back here in two more weeks. Be a lisper. Be a guru.